Hello, Omar. My name's Amy. Would it be OK if I examined you? Yes. Make a general inspection of the patient's demeanour, body mass, any chest deformity or scars, and whether they're confused or distressed. Look for equipment such as inhalers or oxygen support. Measure the respiratory rate and observe the respiratory pattern. Note any unusual effort or noise in breathing such as stridor. Assess the radial pulse and check the blood pressure. Could I have a look at your hands? Look at the hands for tobacco staining, peripheral cyanosis and finger clubbing. This is most commonly associated with lung malignancy, fibrosis or chronic infection. There are four features. Loss of the normal angle between the nail and the nail bed, increased nail bed fluctuation, increased bulk of soft tissue over the terminal phalanges and increased nail curvature in later stages. Hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy includes finger clubbing, Is this sore? No. And also painful swelling of the wrists and ankles. Check for tremor in the hands. Could you hold your hands out for me? Bend your wrist back. Watch for a few seconds. A coarse flapping tremor is seen with severe ventilatory failure and carbon dioxide retention. Look at the neck for accessory muscle use and for the JVP. Could you open your mouth for me? Look at the tongue and lips for central cyanosis. To detect lateral shift of the trachea, gently place the tip of your right index finger into the suprasternal notch. This can be uncomfortable, so be gentle and explain what you're doing. The distance between the suprasternal notch and cricoid cartilage is normally three to four finger breadths. Feel for a tracheal tug, which may be found in severe hyperinflation. Please, can you take a deep breath in? Use your hands to detect chest expansion, which should be symmetrical. Watch how your thumbs move. Reduced expansion indicates abnormality on the same side. Percussion allows you to hear the pitch and loudness of the percussed note and feel for post-percussive vibrations. Percuss sequentially over corresponding areas on both sides of the chest. Percussing over normal lung produces a resonant note. Over solid structures, for example the liver or heart, a dull note is produced. Place the palm of your left hand on the chest with your fingers slightly separated. Press the middle finger of your left hand firmly against the chest aligned with the rib over the area to be percussed. Strike the center of the middle phalanx of your left middle finger with the tip of your right middle finger. Use a loose swinging movement of the wrist. Remove the percussing finger quickly so the note generated is not damped. Work down the chest from side to side comparing left with right. Please could you take deep breaths in and out with your mouth open. Most sounds are best heard with the bell. Auscultate left and right alternately comparing equivalent positions to ensure that localised abnormalities are not missed. Don't ask the patient to take exaggerated breaths for a prolonged period, as this may cause dizziness or even tetany. Listen anteriorly from above the clavicle down to the sixth rib and laterally from the axilla to the eighth rib. Avoid auscultation within three centimetres of the midline, as these areas may transmit sounds directly from the trachea or main bronchi. Assess the quality and amplitude of the breath sounds. Identify any gap between inspiration and expiration and listen for added sounds. Bronchial breathing is a high-pitched breath sound with a hollow or blowing quality similar to that heard over the trachea during tidal breathing. Bronchial breath sounds are found when normal lung tissue is replaced by uniformly conducting tissue and the underlying major bronchus is patent. This happens with pulmonary consolidation from pneumonia at the top of a pleural effusion and over areas of dense fibrosis. Please could you say 111 one, one, 
each time I put my stethoscope on your chest. One, one, one. One, one, one. Over normal one, lung, one, the low-pitched components of speech are heard one, one, and high-pitched components are attenuated. One, Over one, consolidated one. lung, in pneumonia for instance, the numbers are one, clearly one, audible. One. Over an effusion or area of one, collapse, one, one. they'll be muffled. One, one, one. Whispering is not heard one, over normal one, lung, one. but in consolidation the sound one, is transmitted, one. producing whispering pectoriloquy. One, one, one. Auscultate each side alternately, one, comparing one, one. findings over a large number of equivalent positions. One, one, one. One, one, one. One, one, one. One, one, one. Next, examine the neck and chest from behind. Please, could you sit forward for me and swing your legs over the edge of the bed? Could you look straight ahead? I'm going to examine your neck. Examine for cervical lymphadenopathy. Systematically work your way through the lymph node groups. Start anteriorly with the submental and submandibular and then the upper, middle and lower cervical nodes. Also palpate the posterior triangle along the border of the trapezius muscle and the supraclavicular fossa. The post-auricular nodes are felt behind the ear and the scalene nodes are above the first rib. Please could you tilt your head to the right. This helps relax the sternocleidomastoid allowing you to palpate behind the clavicle. And again to the left. Place your index finger between the clavicle and the sternocleidomastoid muscle and press down gently onto the first rib. Thank you. Inspect the chest from the back, looking for deformities of the spine or chest wall or thoracotomy scars. Repeat the assessment of chest wall expansion posteriorly. Place your fingers along the ribs and watch your thumbs to track the motion. Thank you. Could you cross your arms in front of your chest? Percuss the chest posteriorly. For the superior part of the posterior chest wall, ask the patient to fold their arms, abducting the scapulae. Do not percuss near the midline, as a dull note is produced from the solid thoracic spine and paravertebral muscles. Map out any abnormal areas by percussing from resonant to dull. A pneumothorax will produce a hyperresonant note. Percussion over a solid organ or consolidated lung produces a dull note. Fluid, such as a pleural effusion, produces a very dull note, described as stony dull. Basal dullness due to elevation of the diaphragm is easily confused with pleural fluid. Please could you take deep breaths with your mouth open. Repeat auscultation on the back. Again, compare left with right and listen at a good number of positions to ensure you don't miss a localised abnormality. As well as breath sounds, you may hear added sounds. The most common are crackles, wheeze and rubs. Crackles are interrupted non-musical sounds and can result from a number of different pathologies. Concentrate on when they occur in the respiratory cycle and their character, whether fine, medium or coarse. Sometimes added sounds can be due to bubbling in secretions in the larger airways. If you suspect this, remove your stethoscope and ask the patient to cough. 
secretions in larger airways will be cleared. Crackles caused by disease of bronchioles or alveoli will not be affected. Wheeze has a musical quality and implies airway narrowing, commonly in asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Time the sounds in relation to the respiratory cycle. Wheeze tends to be louder on expiration. Inspiratory wheeze implies severe airway narrowing. The loudness of wheeze is not useful in determining the severity of airway obstruction. In the most severe bronchospasm, the chest may be silent. Measuring the peak expiratory flow rate is a bedside test and an important part in the assessment of asthma. Each time I put my stethoscope on your chest, please could you say one, one, one. One, one, one. One, one, one. We have discussed one, how one, increased one. vocal resonance can demonstrate sound transmission one, one, through consolidated one. lung. The other sound one, that you one, may come one. across during auscultation is a pleural one, friction one, rub. One. This is a creaking sound similar to that one, produced one. by bending stiff leather or treading one, in fresh one. snow. It is produced when inflamed parietal and visceral pleural layers move over one another. A rub is best heard with the stethoscope diaphragm. It may be heard only on deep breathing at the end of inspiration and beginning of expiration. A rub is normally associated with pleuritic pain and may be heard over areas of inflamed pleura in pulmonary infarction, vasculitis or pneumonia. If the pleura adjacent to the pericardium is involved, a pleuropericardial rub may be heard. Pleural friction rubs disappear when an effusion separates the pleural surfaces. Thank you. Please could you swing yourself back round and lie again on the bed. Lastly, examine the legs for edema, signs of deep venous thrombosis or erythema nodosum. Thank you.